So your first zygoma may not be your first zygoma. Uh -huh. You did many times in your brain. Brain, yes, yes, yes. Uh, true, true, true. And what is what about your quad zygoma? Because when I went for a, a course in Picos Institute, uh, what Picos doctor told is there is a lot of difference between a single zygoma and a quad zygoma. They uh -huh. are not at all similar. Uh -huh. The quad zygoma is very you know more complicated than uh, a single zygoma. He was telling like that. So mm. what is your opinion about that? No, it is not uh, different at all. It is doing uh, both zygomatic implants are same. Quad zygoma is also same. The different ball game is like the only thing what you should be con really concerned is posterior area where we are placing a single zygomatic implant. It is already highly reserved. So we have a direct access to the zygoma. Yes. Whereas anterior from where you want to do a squat zygoma when the, from the front implant which goes into the front implant usually some or amount of bone is there okay. 5 mm 6 mm 7 mm bone is there so it is your judgment it is a level of judgment how much bone should be removed only then it will go properly otherwise it will go into the infratemporal fossa okay. if you don't remove the bone properly it go into the infratemporal fossa and if if you remove too much also if you go too deep also it will go into the infratemporal fossa if you don't remove any bone it will cut the lateral surface of the zygoma mm -hmm. and patient may never ever get a zygomatic okay, implant. Okay, okay. So that judgment is very very important. Okay. Uh, the technique is same. What I want to say is the technique is same but uh, doing single zygoma is very easy in the sense because uh, going from a highly reserved area it is easier. Sorry, sorry. But here the same technique we are following but uh, only thing is we have to do certain things before starting placing a zygomatic implant otherwise uh, if you don't just prepare you start directly start doing it then just like your posterior implant then this will definitely go wrong okay. and uh, one more the biggest uh, problem is uh, uh, accommodating two zygomatic implants in a single zygoma bone mm -hmm. okay so Indians uh, majority of the Indians they don't have this big uh, face big uh, uh, skull they have a very short face short uh, bones so what I personally do in my patients is like I just keep my finger like, like this okay. one on the infraorbital rim one at the bottom of the zygoma mm -hmm. and keep two of my fingers okay. I don't see the CBCD even today just today okay. before coming here I operated a quad zygoma in Chennai okay. Chennai uh, Chennai I operated a quad zygoma I didn't see the CBCD I just went and then I just checked like this okay. Like this, I hold like this, okay. and I kept my two fingers like this. Oh, oh, oh. Two fingers. Like this. So okay. two fingers were like I'll just do it like this. That means without touching my this two fingers, I am okay. able to move two of my fingers. And my zygomatic implants is not that this mm -hmm. this thick right. also. Mm -hmm. So that means I can easily accommodate. That's a, a rule what I follow That's personally. Simple, simple rule. Simple rule. Clinical, uh, clinical test. Okay. So if any patient is having very short zygoma, very short zygoma. Then I would love to go to the transnasal, transnasal, transnasal implant. Okay. That I do. Your first quad zygoma, any prefer preparations you did your... Uh, one, one thing, uh, whoever is watching this podcast, uh, most of them dentists and a lot of patients. Uh, of course, patients, they just only get information. But if any dentist is watching, I would st strongly recommend not to do a quad zygoma just because you started doing one or two zygomas. Okay. First, they have to do at least 30, 35, 40, 50. There is not particular number until, there is no particular number, but until you get so much confidence that you can easily execute this, mm -hmm. you should not do a quad zygoma. Mm -hmm. You start doing only single zygoma, single zygoma, single zygoma. Okay. But a, a point comes that you are a board of doing single zygomas. You, you can do anything without doing CBCBT, everything. You are so much confident. Then you start doing quad zygomas. But at the same time, uh, Single zygomas is easier because you are fa operating far away from the eye. Mm -hmm. You should always remember like since you are going closer to the eye, you can't damage eye and then you can you cannot undo it. Mm -hmm. You cannot undo it. So you should be very very careful mm -hmm. in uh, surgical planning. Surgical planning is very important in a quad zygoma. Mm -hmm. Whereas not much surgical planning is required for a single zygoma. Okay. One of our uh, friend, uh, he went for a zygoma course in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So in the course, during the course, life surgery, they entered uh, orbit. Orbit. Oh my God. So that kind of uh, issues can be prevented by following what. Uh, yes. The and uh, there are a lot of other uh, safety parameters what I do, like uh, marking and everything. Um, thereby, I ensure that it does not go into the eye at all. Okay. We are safely far away, at least at least by five millimeters, four to five millimeters away from the eye. 
and the second implant also we are able to easily adjust uh, into the zygomatic bone. Yeah. When I attended your uh, you know, training program course, after the surgery when I saw the x-ray, I got surprised. Um, because both sides are looking the same. same. You can uh, bend the x-ray, no? They uh, will like, mir like mirror images. Yeah. Yes. I also told you got some, <laughs> some software inside your brain which, you know, uh, so what, what, no, what I, after you after you told me the same thing, then I I referring your name <laughs> that uh, see such a Murugvel such a great person uh, has given me this credit you know that sir uh, there is a muscle memory in your now without the brain connection your hands are doing on their own so that was like a big moment for me because uh, appreciation coming from a, such a great person is uh, means a lot to me. So even I started telling people that, you know, Murugavel, such a great person, is telling me that, sir, you got a muscle memory. So I, it is all about a planning. I would say like, you know, it is all about a planning. Some they do draw lines and everything, but I just know where to do, how to do. So that is how I plan in my brain and then and do it. I'll open the flap and then do it. So that is how I'm able to easily do it. Okay. Okay. Easily do because it. Because what I observe is when we do on the, from the right side, we do more uh, angulation mistakes on the left side, oh. uh, but it is not uh, happening in yours as particular. So, doing, no? Both oh. side your, your approach is same. Both side target as mm. same. Because for me, the left side many times uh, some angulation issues will happen. So it is more of a common sense mm. rather than no test book will teach you this. Mm, yes. It is like you know you are doing something today. You are you just doing something somewhere you feel not comfortable or you are not doing somewhere something is going wrong okay. or I am not comfortable doing this then what is a better way of doing it mm -hmm. simple so it's uh, like there are a lot of uh, common sense things which no test book no friends no even mother father also don't tell you each and everything do like this do like that do like this nobody tells you but there are always uh, each every work can be done in a different other way in an easier way okay. only thing is we have to constantly pursue and then uh, focused as you said in the beginning, if you are focused, then you can do it. Okay. Uh, so now if I am doing it like this, somewhere, you know, many of them doctors have say, ask them, sir, right, left side is easy, sir, right side, uh, it's somehow difficult. Mm -hmm. Then why are you doing the same way? Mm -hmm. Try to find out the reason, what is the problem here? Because you cannot do it like this. See, it's just like pushing is easy, pulling is difficult, something they sell, no? Mm -hmm. So then figure out what, how you can do it in a different way and the easiest way. It's all about matter of convenience, that's all. That is and you also told about uh, going to Israel to attend the yeah, yes, 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 yes. That was quite a... Yes. Uh, can you share something? No, actually like uh, in India, like you know, many people don't want to share here. In, I'm not talking about now. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 2015 to 2017. Okay. So... When I started using some implant systems, the quality was very poor. So I said like, uh, we should learn from a people who are doing great in this field. Mm -hmm. So I went to Israel, uh, Tel Aviv, Dr. Igal Balan. Okay. So there, after I have seen his work, then, 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 then only I came across this Noris implants. Mm -hmm. So I started doing this uh, Noris implant because the internal hex, everything is strong. Okay. And uh, I have, when I have gone there, I have seen his clinic infrastructure how he's uh, built up his staff uh, and all like equipment everything. Mm -hmm. So how he's marketing himself. Okay. So not only the subject, we have learned so many things from him. So it was a good experience when you, especially when you go outside of India, mm -hmm. you get to learn a lot of new things. Okay. But uh, the present generation, no, they don't want to spend money and then learn. Mm -hmm. They just want to learn everything at home on the internet, uh, everything by free only. So I would recommend, you know, everybody go out and learn, pay and learn, rather than learning everything free. Mm -hmm. So free is always there by your side, but uh, sometimes you go outside, uh, select a good mentor, select a very good mentor who is doing something exceptional in uh, whatever you want to do. In the same field, somebody is doing very great, then you just uh, mail him, message him, call him, mm -hmm. say, doctor, whatever is your fees, you know, I am willing to pay. Mm -hmm and learn from you. Most of them will agree and then uh, invite you to their practice mm -hmm. and uh, they'll, they'll let you do, they'll let you learn also. Because most of them want to share. Uh, it's not that they don't want to share. But uh, most of the premium courses are not free. Mm -hmm. Premium courses are, uh, have to, we have to pay money and then learn. That's all. 
so that's how like um, i learned lot of things in different different places mm. i personally have attended eight courses okay i personally have attended four international four okay. domestic okay. Okay. four domestic four international but we have learned lot in international okay. here uh, i would say the the best mentor in my life is uh, uh, srikanth mallan mm. srikanth mallan uh, from alappi kerala mm. is a very down to earth person yeah, i don't think you can find his name on uh, google instagram and all but he's into tmj also uh, i don't know but he's a cross road artist okay i don't think he's a i met him in uh, us for some course okay. he also came he'll have full yes, hair yes, yes. full hair hair full yeah, okay. lot of hair mm. and uh, he don't talk much i believe he don't talk much he don't he is not seen anywhere okay. nobody talks about him also okay okay uh, he is not that uh, social media savvy guy mm. Uh, you don't get to hear him but whoever has met him will talk very good about him okay he is just like you only <laughs> very down to earth very humble but big man okay. um, he has done lot of lots of implant but nobody knows that he does so many implants okay. so that is a greatness uh, with him when we you told no uh, zygoma zaga mm. types you observed the differences in the uh, whether it is flat or concave uh. When I attended the Carlos Aprecio program, I asked him, "So, how, what moment you found this classification, this uh, zaga one, zaga two, zaga three?" So he was telling when he was going through all his, you know, X-rays and uh, uh, thing, it suddenly it got stuck him that there is a difference in anatomy for everybody. Everybody's yes. anatomy yes, is yes, not yes. different in that aspect, yes, yes. whether it is concave or flat or what is. So without knowing this, he was struggling for ten years. He told, "No, uh, uh. I was, you uh, know, uh, I could have found it at the, in the earlier itself, but suddenly it got uh, striking him, and he divided this classification." Yes. I think you also observed this. Yeah, uh, same thing I observed in YouTube, but uh, we took. Uh, fortunately, we did not struggle for ten years. <laughs> we could figure out in ten days time. Okay. But uh, definitely, like I mean, I have a huge respect for uh, Al Capresio. uh but uh, next generation will do faster than me so that is uh, uh, not to demean anyone but uh, uh, things are changing lot of people are willing to share their knowledge lot of people are uh, willing to learn also and uh, most one more important point i would like to tell in this podcast also many senior most doctors are calling now mm-hmm. senior most doctors are calling and they are uh, especially those who are doing zygomatic implants uh they are asking me don't uh, conduct courses okay. don't share uh, your knowledge with uh, the younger crowd uh, why you want to develop own competition mm-hmm. now every city already you have trained so many people all most of your students have started doing zygomatic implants and uh, why you want to you be a privileged uh, doctor where you are the only one and few others mm-hmm. let only few be the one who are doing zygomatic implants mm-hmm. why are training every day every week uh, so many doctors uh, means uh, i have only one answer for that. any of them mm-hmm. see not only zygomatic implants anything mm-hmm. suppose you have the willingness to learn suppose if i deny you you will go somewhere else and learn mm-hmm. simple so at least if i teach you whatever i know whatever i know honestly whatever i know at least you will have a gratitude mm-hmm. towards me that you know i learned from dr k reddy mm-hmm. uh, otherwise what you will feel you will attend my course mm-hmm. then i don't teach anything then uh, you go somewhere else because you you are destined to learn you, nobody can stop you mm-hmm. if somebody is uh, destined to learn nobody can stop him because uh, in that way mm-hmm. uh, the world is big enough yes, yes. the world is big enough of course many people say world is small enough mm-hmm. but world is big enough to learn world some or other place somebody is willing to definitely want to share and teach you mm. by holding your hand yes. okay only thing is it takes some time to find that particular person mm-hmm. so if not some or other way you will find it because now because of the social media it's easy now mm-hmm. so yes. i want to be the person mm. who is willing to share the knowledge and uh, have that gratitude towards me that you know because of dr k reddy you did yes, and there is no shortage of patients first of all mm-hmm. there is no competition at all mm-hmm. there is no shortage of patients we have n number of patients 130 crore people in india no? uh, 130 crore there's people in india <laughs> lot of zygoma patients are still there uh, to operate still to get operated and many more will add now <laughs> so there is uh, no shortage of patients so i don't want to be a bad guy you know especially yeah, like i remember one english proverb 
the candle doesn't lose anything no when it is lighting other candles ah that's good. Sim- simple the simple thing. simple simple at what moment uh, uh, the idea struck in your mind to start zygoma courses um zygoma courses like so initially we uh, frankly speaking we wanted to you know when we learn you know we wanted to also make some uh, what exactly was a turning point also i tell you not exactly the uh, zygomatic courses okay in general talking about in general courses what we are conducting across india and especially hyderabad and i also go as a consultant for different clinics for uh, zygomatic surgeries the biggest turning point was in a clinic in my clinic some we had some patients a poor patients where they cannot afford my fees mm-hmm. so we used to reject them that you know since you cannot afford my fees uh, so you go elsewhere or you know you find some other uh, institutions something then they said so no institute is ready to do the zygomatic implant surgeries then uh, i felt bad because uh, just because of financial reasons we are able to turn away these patients so uh, how we can incorporate them in our practice help them at the same time uh, we can help so help the other doctors okay, yeah. so that's when we devised a plan where uh, we'll take all these poor patients whatever they can pay let them pay then doctors who want to participate in the courses they'll also get to learn mm-hmm. by seeing live surgeries yeah. so it is like a win win situation for everyone it is a win win situation for all where i get my money and i'm sharing knowledge and at the same time my name is also becoming popular mm-hmm. patient is getting teeth in 7 days and these people also doctors learning and they do good for their own patients mm-hmm. so in general like overall human mankind is benefited yes. so this one thing